Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today is actually a very cool day guys. I want to talk to you a little bit about the new Tudor Black Bay 58. I know I made a video before and you know I had the watch with the nylon strap but this time I had the watches uh, with the stainless steel bracelet so I really want to give you guys this review so please um, tell me what you think about the watch, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give us a like. And that's pretty much it. It's going to help this channel a lot and it's free and that's it. So let's stop talking. You guys already know I don't want to give you know too much into detail. I don't want to make these videos too long. And I just want to give you my thoughts on the watch, give you a little bit of the specifications and what's going on the market. So let's take a look at this very cool watch. All right, so now it's time to take these beautiful watches out of the box, my friends. And you guys already know I can help you with Twitter. I can also help you with more brands such as Bugatti, Hublot, Tag Heuer, Courtier. I have, you know, Rolex, but of course Rolex have their restrictions. So sorry if I'm not going to be able to help you with Rolex, but if you are from the Rio Grande Valley, uh, contact me on the links below. Tell me what are you looking for? So hopefully I can help you build your collection but of course now it's time to talk about the Tudor Black Bay 58 black and the Tudor Black Bay 58 in blue that I personally think the blue it's really really cool both watches are really nice so I'm just going to start with the specifications uh, this is a 39 millimeter uh, case stainless steel bracelet this is an automatic movement of course 70 hour power reserve so I think that's great it's kind of like the same uh, power reserve that my Rolex have so these are really good watches and actually in the market it's becoming really hot of course uh, something I really like about this beautiful watch is actually the uh, sapphire case this is a doom, doom sapphire case case so basically you can see the, the, the crystal you know going on top of the case so I think this is a really cool piece really cool uh, feature and to my personal opinion I think it gives you more like a vintage looks to the watch so I think this is a really cool thing uh, also this is a 200 meter water resistant that means 660 feet so that's enough uh, I wouldn't go uh, you know deeper than that of course un unless if you're you know doing a diving something or something like that but I will never go that deep so I think 200 meter water resistant it's enough for me uh, other thing this is a unidirectional vessel so it means it only goes into one side uh, it's 60 minute and something that I really like a lot is the matte blue and something that I notice putting the bow watches side by side is the loom the loom is something that looks very different on both watches I think on the blue one looks more white and on the black bay 58 and black looks more like a brownish kind of like a more vintage looks to my opinion so i think it's really cool it gives that actually that um, you know that spicy that extra thing into the watch so to me personally what i like about the black one is that you have the loom more you know like i'd say more brownish and you also have the red accent on top of the bezel on 12. So I think that gives you more accents into the watch, into the dial, and it gives you a very cool looks. So very good for that. And the blue, of course, looks more cleaner, into my opinion, it has less colors. It looks more wider, and you think it looks, you have a cleaner look. And of course, let's go into the market. These watches, if you can go into the market and find a little bit more about these pieces, guys, you will see that and these watches are selling at least for retail price and of course i've seen the blue one for over retail i've seen it up for like four thousand five thousand dollars so i think that's super crazy this is a watch that is becoming really hot on the market of course like i'd say tutors uh, into my personal opinion i think the market is really going into tutor because uh this is something that i always tell in the tutor videos uh, they used to be 28 years outside of the us i think that's one of the main reasons people are barely going into the tutor brand looking into the tutor brand but if you more go more for, for europe if you guys my friends that are from europe uh tell me what you think about tutors it's really hard to find these watches over there that's at least that's what i've been telling you know what i've been told i think these watches are hard to find in europe and of course if you go up north into the united states uh, more likely you're not going to find these watches on the showcase uh, here in the valley like people are barely trying to uh, go into the brand they're barely knowing about it they're trying to learn more and i think it's really becoming very very hot especially the gmt piece i think we have sold maybe like four or five of those watches in the past three months so i'm really uh 
thinking that we're not going to be uh, seeing those watches on the show because for for a few for a few months at least i don't know what's going to happen in the future but if my predictions go uh, like i mean not my predictions but what the marketing is what the market is telling us right now is that these watches are going to become harder on the future but of course we really don't know what's going to happen in the market everything can change in the moment you know rolex and tutoring they can just flood the market with more watches and everything is going to change right the game is going to be a completely different game but of course that's just my thoughts tell me what you think tell me if you like the watch tell me if you don't like the watch if you will wear it or not and of course tell me which one is your favorite the blue you like the blue or if you guys like more the black to me personally, since my personal thoughts is I will never have a black Submariner only because my favorite one will it's the blue and that's the Submariner that I will eventually get in my into my collection in the future. I will probably go for the Black Bay 58 in black because I like the vintage looks and the blue I think of course I think it's a little bit hotter in the market in the Tudor but I already have a blue watch in my collection or two. I have my Rolex Sky Dweller and I have my Bulgari uh, three color aluminum in special edition it's blue and i don't think i need more blue into my collection so i will definitely go for this tutor since it's a cheaper option looks very similar to the submarine but i think it's really really different so i would really appreciate for you guys to let me know what you think about these watches tell me what do you think are your predictions in the future what do you think is going to happen with tutor brand and of course which tutor is your favorite which one will you get into your collection right so i don't know what else to to tell you my friends i think that's pretty much it retail price sorry i didn't say the price right retail price it's only three thousand seven hundred dollars for both watches it didn't change the price in the color so if you get the blue or you get the black it's still going to be uh, thirty seven hundred dollars so i don't think it's that bad i think it's a great piece it's really affordable compared to other brands since cartier or cart or you know hublot or, or rolex i think these are great watches you know taking all the market all the hype everything on the side Tudor is a great brand beautiful watches they're glass forever and i think it's going to become uh you know more you know the demand is going to increase in the future i think it really does going to have that happen that that's going to happen whatever it is you know you guys understand what i said anyways that's the point so i think that's pretty much all i have to say like i say 3700 you can find it for up to five thousand dollars forty five hundred dollars on the on the gray market according to of course this great market uh, online dealers that you can find i don't want to say the names because i don't want to promote anyone but of course i will never recommend to pay retail guys if you're looking for something nice into your collection you don't really want to change the look you don't want a rolex you don't want to upload you want something different you can talk to me on the links below ask me for these beautiful watches tutor are perfect and of course you can always enjoy these watches you don't have to be thinking always into the money if you're gonna lose or if you're gonna win you can just enjoy it so thank you very much for watching see you next time